Hey everybody, D here, Daily Gaming, back with more Monster Hunter World Iceborne, and in this episode, I'm going to be covering item loadouts and your radio menu and your item bar. This is a very confusing system that is not properly explained at all, and most people have found it by accident. Uh, of course, once people, I mean, once people found it by accident, they started telling others, other people knew, but yeah, it's not properly explained at all. So, you can actually customize a lot of things in this game, uh, down to the HUD, down to in-game settings, and also on your radial menu. So if you bring your options menu, you go to customize radial menu. You can customize it for HQ settings and quest settings, because you can have, uh, you, you can't actually communicate with anybody in your, once you're in your HQ. Uh, the only way to do that is if you have an open lo uh, voice lobby, or uh, if you use like stickers and stuff like that, uh, or stickers or e emotes and, or other expressions. That, that's the only way to do it. Um, not expressions. There's like there's like preloaded sentences, and I think they translate to other languages automatically and stuff. I think you can create your own as well, but those ones are always in whatever your native language is. Uh, so anyways, don't care about HQ settings. Quest settings is what we're going to be messing with. Now, so to customize it, you select your quest settings, and then now you can have access to it. You have uh, your four different ones that you can you have access to, a top one, a bottom one, a right one, and a left one. Typically, I only use the top two. The, or the top and the bottom one. <clears throat> don't really have too much of a need for it. I don't use uh, ammo coatings, so I don't need that one. Of course, you can make them whatever you want. You can make the top one ammo coatings or whatever. But typically, you don't need all four. Uh, I do keep the communication one for the rare occasion where I'm feeling like doing some multi excuse me, multiplayer. That way I can communicate with people. But I'll customize this later separately on my own. Uh, so what we're mainly going to be dealing with is this one. Now, on every single one, I always have the whetstone up top, just for convenience sake. There it is, whetstone. So, to actually, uh, I'm sorry, to actually do it, you use the right stick to select which one you want to customize. You select it with X, and then you go to the right side, and you have a whole list of things over here. Gestures, poses, shout-outs, stickers... Uh, signals, items, ammo coatings, special items. But special items is what I'm messing with. I always put the the whetstone there, just in case something happens and I'm on the wrong one and I want a wet. And I, need, I need a whetstone. Now you might think you might want to put a healing option on every single one, but honestly, I use my item bar down. Well, uh, yeah, it's not here. Sorry, I use my item bar for my healing. I think it's a lot faster than going through the radio menu, so I never need to use my radio menu to heal, excluding for one or two random items. So I, I don't worry about having a healing items. Wait, what? Oh, I yeah, I, okay. I'm sorry. I thought I was. I thought I was on this one, and it started off on this one. I was like, why is all that stuff there? It took me a second. I was being an idiot, my bad. So, anyways. Uh, so, yeah, I, I always have the whetstone on the top one. That way, no matter which one I'm on, I can always use it. Uh, and then, honestly, I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff as well. Like I said, I don't use the healing items on there. I use other stuff. Uh, so, for instance, flash pods... And dung pods are fairly important. I use those a good bit, so I have those on there so I can get to them quickly. Um, down here at the bottom, I'll put the herbal medicine. And just next to that, I put null berries. Uh, and then I don't have any, but I'll put my shock trap and trank bombs right here for easy access. And then right here, once I get it, I'll start put. I'll put my gadget. Uh, you can get a gad. You can get ghillie suits and other gadgets that'll like heal you and stuff like that. And I'll put the I'll, whatever the main one I use. I'll put it there. Uh, 
and that is my main radial menu. This is what I mostly play the game with. And then as I go through and as I start getting like the arm uh, demon drugs and things like that, I'll start putting those down here. And this will be the, the one I use for like when I jump into a mission, I'll pop my uh, might pill, armor skin pill, my demon drug, my armor drug, uh, my rations. I'll start putting those in here. Uh, let's actually go ahead and do that. Let's put... Yeah, my ration. I'll start putting all that stuff in here. Uh, in the, because of then when I start the mission, I just hit hold L1, press down. I go through, use all of these to get my uh, buffs in. And then I'll just quickly switch back to shortcut one. And I'm ready to go for the hunt. As opposed to having to scroll through everything, constantly trying to find everything. Now, that obviously, however you want to do it is up to you. Is, uh, up to you and whatever feels right for you. This is just how I prefer to do it. Because these are the main items I use, so these are the ones I mainly like to have up. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, for this one, I'll usually put, like, uh, whatever relevant healing item I need. Uh, like, for instance, when you're fighting Odogaron, he applies bleed to you. So I'll put the Astera Jerky there. Uh, some enemies apply sleep, so I'll put, like, a uh, energy the energy drink right there. Uh, things like that. Um, and then the rest of these items, there's good items to have. So, yeah. And then for under shortcut 2, I put my ration here. And I'll put my gadget items right there. Because those are easier to use. So now, that's how you customize your radio menu. Uh, And now what you need to do is you also need to save it. Now, because there's a thing, it's saved for right now, but when you come over to your item box, manage items, you select your loadout, use this loadout, yes. Use this radio menu loadout, yes. And if I go back to my quest, it's right back to the way it was. Everything is there. So it wipes everything. So once you get your radio menu set up to the way you want it, you need to save it. And to save it, you go to Manage Items. You hit Options button. And when it comes to the loadout, you need to hit Register Loadout. It'll say Save Item to this lo item loadout to the slot. Yes. And then it'll say Overwrite med Radial Menu Loadout as well. And you hit Yes. Now, of course, I just... I took that one that it was, wiped over mine, and then just saved it back, so it didn't actually change or anything. But that is how you go about doing it. Uh, and you can also have dozens of different, you can have hundreds of loadouts. Or, oh, I said hundreds, you can have up to, I'm not sure if you can have more than 80 or not. I don't think I've ever seen anybody use 80 loadouts. I've never heard of anybody needing that many loadouts. I typically only have a dozen maybe a dozen half a dozen no yeah i'll, I'll have i'll have a, a closer to a dozen because i'm my basic one uh if you're ever doing uh i have my basic one that i use for any such a situation uh but then there's ones i need for certain monsters like i need the astera jerky for odogaron i need that that energy drink for the monsters that apply sleep so instead of constantly carrying those items around and not being used i'll have a loadout just for them uh, when you're fighting, hunting an elder dragon, you can't use traps on them. They're immune to traps, so there's no point in carrying traps with me out, out in the wild. So I'll I'll, I'll have loadouts where uh, without traps. Uh, certain areas, certain environments, you need certain resources. Like in uh, Monster Hunter World, in the Iceborne expansion, the oh my god, I forgot what that place is called, Celiana. It is very cold, and you need a hot drink to keep you warm. Uh, so I'll have a loadout where I have a hot drinks and then in the horror oh it's called the horror forest reach that's it and then in uh, elders recess there's areas that are super hot and you need cold drinks so I'll have a loadout for elders recess uh, things like that so I'll have a I'll have like maybe a dozen that's about it I, don't, I haven't really had a need for more than that but if you do that, that I mean I'm not saying it's wrong or anything that's just yeah but th that's how you do them. So, uh, oh, and the last thing is it customized radio menu? No, it's under item pouch. <clears throat> the 
last thing is if you bring up your item pouch, it, if you look down at the bottom of the screen, it has uh, auto sort and stuff like that on there. Uh, it has rearrange, you can move things around however you want. Uh, but there's also an item bar to press triangle. This is your item bar for when you're out in the field. So when you hold L1 and pressing square and circle, this is what you're scrolling through. You can rearrange this and order it however you want, but it has to be saved. And it's it's the exact same way as the uh, radial menu. If it's not saved to that specific item loadout, then it won't be saved uh, and it'll be re replaced. Now the thing with it is, it's really weird, is this, there's always going to be a gap. No matter what, there's going to be a gap. That indicates the start and the end of it. So when you load in, when you load into the area, right now I'm always, it's always going to start off on the the raider ride, um, and then if I hit left, it's always going to loop to the barbecue spit, which is at the end. So you need to move it around and adjust it, customize it the way you want. I typically have my healing items right here up first so that when I spawn in they're instantly right there and this is why I don't put any healing items on my radio menu because they're right here all I have to do is press square and I instantly use it if I want to use an antidote oop, wrong button I actually hit the button and I screwed it and that's why I freaked out if I if I want to use an antidote I just hold L1 and press circle because I'll put antidotes here and then I just tap square to use it uh, it's really quick, it's a lot easier than, than going through the radial menu and stuff like that. Um, some things on here you cannot get rid of. You're always going to have the raider ride, you're always going to have the barbecue spit, you're always going to have the fishing rod, you're always going to have the capture net. And then it, uh, the, wet, and the whetstone as well. No matter what, they're always going to be on there. You can't get them off. You can't take them off. Um, people say there's a way to do it, but I think it's only like you play on PC and people modded it. I think that's the only way to do it. I don't think there is a legit way of doing it. Uh, what items appear, what other items appear down here just depends on what you have in your inventory. This is all I have in my item pouches. A potion, antidote, ration, and raw meat. So that's the only thing that appears down there. Um, empty files do not appear down there. There are certain items that do and some, some items that, that don't. So uh, not everything will, will pop up down there, but I think anything you can actually use, because like, you can't actually use the empty file. It's just something you need for resources as you're gathering and crafting ammo coatings. It just, you use it, so it's there. But it's not something you can select and use like you can with the raw meat, the potion, antidote, or the ration. You can actually use those, so they appear down there on the item bar. But that is how you customize your radio menu, and that is how you do item loadouts. And that is how you do your item bar. Uh, not that hard, but it's something they do not explain, and it makes it makes the the game a lot easier if you know. Uh, oh, one last thing with the item uh, bar: as you're going around gathering resources, like I said, anything you pick up gets added to this, so it gets added in at the very end. So if I pick up a uh, or like, 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 when, like when you start off the mission and you go to the supply box and you pick up the easy ration and the easy potion, they will get put in right in between the raider ride and the potion. So if you pick up any seeds, any, any uh, berries or whatever, uh, that will all get added in here. So typically what I'll, what I'll try to do is... I, is uh, any other things I want to use real quick like sometimes uh, like I'll customize this so that my gadgets and stuff are on the left side of my potion so I'll have the gap in between the uh, the end of it like the Raider ride and this that way I'm not, I don't have to scroll through this and then scroll through the additional stuff that were added in to get to it so uh, and if you do if you run out of potions if you craft more potions, the potions will get added in in the correct order. Uh, it might actually it might be an option you have to, to check. I think it is actually. It's it's like item remembrance. So if you run out of antidotes and you craft more antidotes, 
I think you ha if the option's on, and I think it's on by de default, it'll automatically put it right back in this slot in between the, the potion and the ration. But if it's off, it'll just fill in at the very end. So that's something you should check. Let's check that real quick. Options, game settings. Yeah, obtained item placement, original position. Adjust where previously possessed items are placed in the item bar when you obtain them again during a quest. Yeah, so... Yep, there it is. Original position or end of the item bar. So it'll be either put at the end or the original position. I highly recommend you have the original position. That way it doesn't throw you off. Uh, nothing worse than trying to fight a new monster or an elder dragon and you're panicking because you're not sure if the item is back in the original position or not. So that is how item bars, radio menus, and custom loadouts work. Uh, it's been bothering me. I don't know if I actually said how to save. I did. I said I said how to save it. How to access them? You go to item pal. You go to the item box. Manage items. Options button. Loads it up, and you s press triangle to save it, or you press X to select it. There you go. And you can also rename it with uh, options. G. There we go. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it. Alright, I'm done. Uh, the next episode is the best kind of quest. A very, well, we get access to a new environment where we get some new resources. So you want to spend a, a lot of time ignoring uh, the mission and just gathering and gathering and gathering so you can get a, a little head start on weapons and armor. Uh, but I'll see you next time.